Okay, you tried out Windows 8, you tried out Ubuntu, you, you tried out Windows 1.01 from 1985. Now it's time to try a little more modern version of Windows, and tell me if you think it's better than Windows 8. Windows 3.1, released in 1992. How do you feel? Is it looking simple? Uh, looks old. Mm -hmm. yeah. But does it look newer than Windows 3.11? Uh, what do you mean? I mean Isn't this 3.11? Windows 1.10? Oh yeah, it, or looks, whatever. it looks, the Windows 1. Point yeah. whatever it was, was, looked as if it was still booting yeah, up. Yeah, so this is seven years later. Okay, fine. So your first task is, what time is it? Uh, what time is it? Okay. So the time isn't displayed. Applications. It could be in applications. You think applications? Um, next. That's not the application I want. I don't know what happened. And it went to the Accessories. Starter. Maybe it's accessories. Oh, wait a sec. You've got to double click it. I was single. Oh, clock. There we go. It's three o'clock. Oh, no, it's not. Well, it says three o'clock on there. Well, that's obviously no. That's simple. just an icon. Six twenty-eight a.m., which it is it actually isn't. So it's no time. No, 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 no. But it's okay. it's a virtual PC, okay. so time gets Found messed up. the clock. But that would be the right Logical. time. Logical. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Now I've got to get out of it. So your next task. <gasps> I've just made it bigger. You've maximised it. So oh, what did you press? I don't know. That's maximising minimum. Oh, the big one, and the little one. Oh. That okay. puts it to the. Desk. That makes sense. That puts it to the as an icon okay. on your desktop, and look, it actually shows you the time from the icon. Well, I tell you what, that's logical because the big one makes it bigger, and the small, the one that indicates smaller makes it smaller, and even an icon. So you get a bonus. <laughs> there we go. What if you wanted a closer clock? This one. Yeah. Maybe I click on it. And yeah. then maybe close it. Oh, wait a sec, close. There we go. Oh, look. How, how easy is that? Do you think it's good? It's logical. It's a oh, look, I worked it out. Okay, now what do you want me to do? Next task. Okay, so your next task is write, save, and open a text document. So you did that in Windows 8, and well, okay. actually, you couldn't do it in Windows 8. <laughs> you know what's funny? The fact it's got that line there, and I'm used to the cross mm. on that side. Mm. But um, I work. I'm working out that that's obviously the line means close. So, well, the line oh. brings up a bunch of options. Then oh, close. and then you've got to scroll down to close. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Done. Yeah. What did you say? Open Write and save a text document. App well, that would be in op applications. I'm assuming. <laughs> um. I don't think that's it. Um, you can click on stuff if you want to see if it is it. I don't think any of these things are it. What's this basic thing? Oh, that's almost like the blue screen of death. But it's <laughs> on it. No, 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 no. This is QBasic. It's a programming language. Um, here you can learn all about it. Oh, that's okay. Here we go, QBasic. It's made easy though. It's really basic. You can learn all about how to program. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Leave, okay. leave programming to the programs. <laughs> okay. Um, so obviously I'm going to get out of this thing. Yeah. Oh, press escape to clear. Okay, escape. Where's the escape button? There. Oh no, that's just... Now you're out. ready to start programming. I don't want to program. <laughs> oh, the little mouse thing is gone. <laughs> This is a DOS application that you've don't <gasps> touch oh, that. No, 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 don't touch that. That's the virtual PC stuff. This is a DOS application you've just opened from within Windows because Windows 3.11 okay. was still connected to DOS. How so do DOS didn't have this? a mouse. I want to get out of this. Control Alt Delete. Can I? No. Then what? Not allowed to. Okay. Well, the little thing's gone. I'm rolling it around, but there's no thing on the screen. Oh, you've got. <laughs> What did I, do? I don't even know how to get it. I'm not a DOS user. Wait, X. If I type in exit. <gasps> no, you can't type in exit. I thought you could. So or maybe what do quit. You do now? No. You stupid thing. I don't know how you get out of 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's. F1. F6. F6 would wait, be wait, 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 wait. Let me you. do F6. <gasps> it's not doing anything. Maybe again. F6. F6. Oh, it's just going between those two things. Maybe F8 setup. Oh, you step. don't have. You F8 don't, is step. You don't have an F8. Oh, no, I do have an F8. You just. Oh, this is really. This is. Do you want me to just pause the video until we work out how to get out of this? Because this is really complicated. Oh. This is DOS. This is what happens when you don't well, have a mouse. Why do you expect me to do it if you can't even well, do it? Well, yeah, I didn't think you would actually open that. Let me just... We'll pause it and we'll, we'll be back after a short break. Okay, I figured out what to do. Um, if you press control, because you've got no mouse, you just press control, then you can it use the, the arrow key back. to... No, 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 no. Oh. Can we just get out of this? There thing? we go, see? And you use a keyboard to go to exit. I actually don't like this this thing because it reminds me of the blue screen of death and it makes me feel as if I need to buy a new computer Dang. for you. Control. We'll be back after another short break. Okay. I had to figure out how to get out of that. Okay. We got out of it. Now basically what I've learned. Don't go to DOS this, again. Don't ever go to that. <laughs> Don't do it. Unless you've got one of those books to tell you how to use it. Okay. <laughs> now what? Well, um, well you still have to write open and a save file. a text document. Okay. Well, here's file. Open. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this stupid. Oh. <laughs> this stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> but no, I get it. I, I it get it through so it. so long to get out of it. <laughs> Again, I hate this. Enter to see the survival guide. Oh, you stupid. Duh. Now file, exit. There. Well, it exited. Now I've got to. Ah, oh, the things you do. Never get into that break. There we go. Don't well, get into that stupid thing again. I'm too scared to touch anything now. Do you, you give, do you give up? up? Do you give up attempting to find this program? Do well, you give up? Look, I tried that. And I can only give you help if you say I give up. Well, just wait. I tried that, and it gave me a thing that looked like the blue screen of death. And then you, even you couldn't work things out how to get out of it. I did. Then I'm eventually. assuming. Yeah, but then I'm assuming that the file does it. But then it takes me straight to that. So the reason file took you to that is because he said file new, but look what selected. Oh. That icon selected, so it took you to that. Well, then I want to get rid of that. Oh, wait a sec. So I want to. Oh, yeah. I want to close Just that. Just close that. Thank goodness. Now I'm going to file, and I'm going to open a file. Um. The reason it opened up startup. I'm I'm giving you help here because you're taking a bit too long. Is because startup was selected. Oh. Now, let me just tell you something that's going to make you feel really wait, wait, dumb. Wait. Applications, I would assume. <laughs> oh no! I'm not <laughs> 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 oh, no. He maximised it! No. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please get away oh, from no. Microsoft? <laughs> Basic, no, don't, and don't close windows. Do you give up on this step? Do you want? Do you need assistance? I <laughs> keep going back to the same thing. This is terrible. Look, this is like a recurring nightmare. I'll give you assistance, okay? We're gonna just click cancel. You've maximised this window. Okay, so minimise. We're ah. just. Oh, well, what you can use is this button to minimise that little window. Okay, then close it. Then close it. it. Now, this is what's gonna make you feel really dumb. <laughs> you said at the beginning. You had this open, which had notepad there, which oh. had right right in front of your screen. Oh, okay. But you decided to close that and go to applications, then quit it and say, oh, I'm finally out of that. Now I'll go into applications again. Okay. Would be in so okay. Just, just there we go. I'm in notepad. Uh, notepad. Notepad. <laughs> notepad. I'm tired, okay? I'm it's in night notepad. Time. Um, okay. This is... Uh, document there we go now I'm going to save it so file save a file name yeah. document there we go okay 
Did you look at where you saved it? No. Well, you should have. Where did I save it? Well, you don't know, because you weren't looking. <laughs> How are you going to open the file now? It was... I said, um, write, five. save, and open your text file. Open. Wait a sec. Um, oh. Do you see the word document.txt anywhere? Yeah, here. <laughs> there. That's it. Yeah. Ah, there we go. There we go. Found okay. it. Okay. So, that was step, that was task two, so it's taking a while just to do two tasks. Okay. So the next one is, what is 48 times 32? Okay, well, where's some pen and paper? No. 48? You've got to use your computer. You didn't say that. Okay. These tasks are use the operating system to complete the task. Okay, okay, fine. Now, I want to close this thing up. Um, close it. Close. Okay, uh, calculator. Double click. What was it? 48? 48, 48 times 32. Times 32 equals. You didn't press equals. Equals. There we go. 1536. Next. Okay, the next task is customize the way your computer looks. Some way just customize it. Maybe change the desktop background change what anything looks like in it, just customise it in some way. Okay, well first of all, get out of the calculator, close. You know, the only thing I don't like about this is that that to me should be closed, rather than, because that thing is minimise, maximise, etc. That should be just closed. You shouldn't have to go to it, then scroll mm. down to close. Okay. So that's, that's my complaint yep. about this. Okay. Okay, now I want to... Wait a second. Customise your computer in some way. Oh, wait, paint... Um, Do you think it's paintbrush? Remember, you can click on stuff. I know, I know. You're a bit I'm scared of saying, clicking on stuff after that little... Yeah. Cue basic nightmare. But if I use paintbrush <laughs> to paint around it and that <laughs> make it look... Try it. No, I don't think I will. Try it. Because you're laughing. You're laughing, so it's obviously... No, 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 no. It's just the way no, you no, said no, it. No, I no. laughed. Um, okay. You should try it. No, I'm not going to. Okay. See if you can use paintbrush to paint around it. I don't want to. Why not? I'm sure, um, I think there's another way of doing it. Let's have a look. Okay, look, I'm going to get rid of accessories. So I'm going to close that. Oh, oh. Should you use paintbrush to paint around no. it? No. <laughs> no, so you're still laughing. If that was the way you do it, you wouldn't be laughing. Okay, so application. Oh, no, no, that's the thing. <laughs> You're scared of application. Start up, main. Oh, it's got to be accessories. No, maybe not. Mail, try main. Ah, wait a sec. I think I found something here. Control panel. Ah, here we are. Customise the look of your computer. Look. Uh, colour. Ah. Uh, Colour schemes, window default, uh, black, um, no, that's black's boring, cinnamon, okay, I'm going to do cinnamon, oh, there we go. Then click OK, actually. <laughs> I'm clicking OK, it's not doing anything, oh, here. That's a, showing you what the button would look like, there oh, we go, you've done it. I've, I did it. You've customised your computer to look very feminine. Close. Now the last task is to turn your computer off. Okay, well, um, maybe it's in control panel because it's controlling things. Um, desktop. You'd assume to turn the computer off would be on the desktop. Doesn't seem to have a little thing. Oh, wait a sec. Um, Oh, the sound. Like, like, I'll just get out of all these things for a sec. Getting out of everything? Um, maybe if you get out of everything, it turns it off. Oh, well, this will end your Windows session. That'll close it, won't it? Won't it? Do I'm not giving help unless you say I give up. I give up. Yes, it will. <laughs> you stupid. Why would you give up when there's a button saying, do you want to close, do you want to end your Windows session? End your Windows session means shut down your computer. Oh, so I found it. Yes. Oh, well, there we go. Done. There we go, you're done. Gee, but what, what do you think of Windows 3.1 um, versus Windows 8? 
I don't know, that's a really hard question. It's got logical things in it, but at the same time, I don't like the blue screen of death look. And when I get into that, I seem to be able. I, I seem to not be able to. Get the be blue out screen of, it. of death look is just a program that is not a Windows program. It's a DOS program that they've just kept in Windows. Right. Well, I. I That's just like how it. you program. Because even you took you a while to get out of it. So how, how would I then do it? Two minutes. Two minutes. Um. There are logical things to it, but I think they should have made it easy. How would you feel about using DOS, by the way? Because that program was DOS. Imagine if every single program was like that. <laughs> I wouldn't like it. I would really not like that. <laughs> anyway, do you think in 1992, when this was released, when people upgraded from Windows 2.1, which was quite similar to Windows 1.0, mm -hmm. the one you tried in 1985, do you think people thought this was easier or harder than Windows 1.01? I think it would have taken a while to get used to. There are logical components of it, but at the same time, um, there's a bit of learning required. What would you prefer to have on your computer if you had to have Windows 1.01, Windows, or Windows 3.11? Well, to tell the truth, I think the 1.01 one one thing was, was a bit better, even though it looked a bit it older. It was a bit more simplistic. I okay. mean, it, it, it's this one looked better. Mm. And this one definitely looked more modern than the yep. first one because the first one still looked like it was booting up even yep. when it was on the screen. Okay. But on the, you know, the desktop thing. But Let me just type shut down so it actually <laughs> shuts down. You <laughs> can't even spell I shut down. <laughs> well, you write shut down. There we go. Try oh. holding a key. <laughs> you can't even spell shut. Oh. Uh, well, you... You shut down a different way then. I don't know DOS, come on. Okay, fine. Anyway, that's that. So, see you next time.